Welcome back to my channel. My name is Gladwell Kozak. Thank you very much for stopping by. If you're new here, please do feel welcome. And for everyone who has been here before, thank you very much for stopping by once again. On today's uh, video, I am just going to share with you uh, my, me re redecorating my kitchen. I am just going to be painting the walls and I will be painting my kitchen cabinets. Two years ago, we did a uh, complete makeover in the kitchen. It wasn't a complete upgrade. It was just a makeover whereby we uh, changed the tiling and then we also changed the um, kitchen counter. We changed the sink, we put in a hood, but we did not change the cabinets uh, and the drawers. We just did a uh, repainting. This is what I will be doing. I will be repainting the drawers. I will be painting the walls. But inside the drawers, we did not change them uh, from the original colors. But this time around, I am going to paint everything completely white. So do bear with me and jump in and see how we are going to go. So this is my kitchen. Um, as I said before, I will be doing um, a little bit of painting with the drawers. I am doing outside uh, my husband has already removed the door handles so uh, I did repaint uh, last year but when uh, because I did not change the drawers and the cupboards I just painted so I will be painting inside as well this time around so it's not only uh, gonna be um, white outside so I am also changing and going to be painting inside as well so this is the paint uh, before I do the painting I have to use the concentrated sugar to wipe down the walls because I am also painting the walls so all over I will be painting I will be painting the ceiling as well uh, all the preparations have already been made uh, for places where I don't need to do the touches but before I do the painting I will be uh, washing the walls and the cupboards with the concentrated uh, sugar so I can be able to wipe all the greasy parts but before I do that you can see my drawers and countertops are just full of stuff so I need to clear all this first put everything in the living room um, dining table and then I will be able to start uh, doing yeah it's quite a bit of work but well I am not faced I have the whole day and outside I can show you uh, the weather is starting to look promising uh, the summer in the UK has been very, very unpredictable, a very, very wet and rainy summer. So we haven't spent uh, quite uh, much of time in the garden. So I will be um, showing you the tour of the garden soon, as soon as it brightens up and uh, I can just show you the back garden and show you how it has been looking. It's lovely, but uh, hey ho. That's how it is at the moment. So the kitchen is pretty empty now. Uh, I have run this water, uh, which I will uh, use for this um, concentra concentrated uh, sugar uh, soap for cleaning all the surfaces, removing all the grease before I start um, painting the walls. And uh, this is the paint for the cabinets I have this is leftover from last year and the year before because this is my uh, third year running of painting drawers because at the end of the day I did not actually uh, change my drawers I just repainted the old drawers and that was the original color and I also wanted to paint this uh, inside as well so it will all be completely white 
uh the good thing is i am not going to be painting the shelf in, because it's quite clean because i discovered the best way to keep it clean and uh, avoid having to paint every year is to have the liners and uh, they are really really helpful so if you're thinking of uh following this or doing something like this best to buy these uh liners which are uh good to keep your shelves clean and as well uh, just to keep your uh, your your dishes um, nice and organized as well um, for the paint uh, for the wall paint I am using Dulux uh, pure bright white this is what I have at the moment so it is what I am still using I am not changing uh, the wall colors to any other color so I will stick to white because I just want to keep the color as it is so I will be cleaning up all the surfaces before I can start uh, doing the painting I will be doing the ceiling I will be doing the walls and then at the end is when I will actually be doing the drawers um, and uh, yeah let's see how it goes So all my um, cleaning of the walls is done. I've cleaned the walls, I've cleaned the drawers. Um, if you are looking or thinking what to clean the walls with, uh, it is a concentrated sugar soap. And this is good because it is uh, concentrated so it can be able to remove grease, dirt and nicotine well we don't smoke in this house so we have no reason to remove nicotine but yeah especially in the kitchen when you're thinking uh, before you do or paint your walls or your drawers you need to clean them up because in the kitchen obviously there is a lot of cooking a lot of fat and grease going off the cooking you don't realize it but I have managed to remove quite a lot even though generally i do my general cleaning uh every uh every week all the same i have done this and now i will be ready to start doing my walls this is a left over paint from uh, last year I will have to mix it up a little bit and then I will start painting the walls first I will do the walls and after I will be doing the drawers so uh, yeah we shall see how it goes
uh, the walls and the ceiling is all done it is just waiting to dry up and now i will be starting on the cabinets uh it's been a while i have just done only one coating i'm not going to do a double coating because the wall was not actually very dirty i did the wall painting two years ago we have uh, managed for the last two years to keep it nice and tidy so um it depends how you need to do your your painting if it's a fresh uh paint from a different color then you will need to do an undercoating and then you will need to do maybe two coats of whatever paint you're using but for me i think mine looks uh nice and fresh and uh, i think uh for the next two years if all goes well then that is when i will touch my walls again so i had bought this uh, just as backup uh, this paint for the cupboards and um, i have decided i need to use it because whatever was left over for from last year doesn't look really good so this is what i'll be using and i do hope i will be able to paint all my cabinets and uh, drawers so uh, fingers crossed we shall see so guys the kitchen is all done i have repainted redecorated and most of all i have painted inside the drawers uh, i did this la uh, the last two um three years ago is when i decided to uh, redo a makeover for my kitchen although i did not completely upgrade uh, we changed the countertops we changed the sink we put the hood uh, over the cooker so there is a few things that we did and uh, we just gave it that new look and because we did not change the drawers other than the countertops we painted the color the original color was same as uh, the countertops uh, we changed the countertops they were black originally and then we bought this um, cabinet uh, paint which has really really turned out really okay i have been having this kitchen for the last two years and i'm really really happy how it has turned out so the drawers weren't paint, painted uh, inside when i did the first renovation and they've stayed that way so this is the result of uh, the new uh, painting so everything is now painted all nice and white and uh, that's how it has actually turned out so if you're thinking um, if it is worth it to repaint or change the color of your drawers rather than uh, buying a new um, kitchen replacement and you don't have enough money uh, or as you wait to gather uh, more funds this is a very cheap way of upgrading your cabinets as you can see it's all looking nice white and clean and uh yeah my kitchen is really really looking uh better and um i can tell you i can testify uh the changes that we made we didn't have to spend so much money i think uh overall we spent about 2500 to redo the kitchen without spending too much which was absolutely lovely we also did change the tiling and just a few more things so and uh yeah um we added the dishwasher which was not there in the previous kitchen so we lost that, that uh, drawer space but at the end of the day I could not um, have made a best decision that putting in that dishwasher so guys if you're looking uh, out for more videos like this please do give me a shout leave a comment uh, let me know uh, what kind of videos you might uh, want to see so that we can keep uh, this channel going i know i haven't posted in a while but i am back and i will be trying to post at least once a week so guys thank you very much for stopping by and i do hope to see you in the next one so bye for now